All right, so when I first got the notion to make this video, I didn't realize how deep this rabbit hole went. I initially noticed that once you beat the defending champions in the playoffs, it usually didn't bode well, but I thought about that in the context of the last five years. And I looked and I noticed that once you dethrone the champs, chances are you probably weren't gonna do well for the rest of the playoffs. Everybody who's dethroned champs has either gone on to lose their next series or just gone to lose in the finals. And you may say, hey, that's a good thing for my team. We never make it to the finals, so I would be happy to make it that far, which would be the case for Minnesota this year. So before I get too deep into this, let me explain. Over the past couple of years, I've noticed something. Anytime you play a defending champ in the playoffs, it's a lose-lose situation. Either you beat them and go on to lose in subsequent rounds, or you lose to them and they go on to complete their own destiny of repeating as champs. You see, initially, I just started doing research. I was like, when was the last time a team dethroned the champ and actually had some success? Before I tell you the last time that that happened, I'll give you a moment to ponder on it. When was the last time that a team dethroned the previous champ and was successful? Now, the keen among you would remember that this was actually 2019 when the Warriors were going for a three-peat and they ended up losing to the Toronto Raptors. Some would say because of injury, but I'm not getting into all that. We're simply talking about the pattern here. So the Raptors dethroned the champs to make themselves the champs. Wait a minute, this technically didn't happen in the midst of the playoffs. It actually happened in the finals. You could go through quite a few finals to see a time when a reigning champ was dethroned by the up and comer. You could look at the 2017 finals, the 2016 finals, 2014 finals, the 2005 finals, and I'm sure there's more before this, but I went strictly to 2000 because I feel like after 25 years of this, something has got to give, but it hasn't. So this got me thinking even further. When was the last time that a team successfully dethroned the champs and went on to win the championship themselves? I'll give you another moment to ponder on that one. If you do remember and you went back far enough in the years, you would remember that the last team to actually do this successfully was the Dallas Mavericks. Ironically enough, they beat the Lakers who were coming off back-to-back -back championships. And not only did they beat them, they swept them. And this was unheard of for a defending champ and for you to beat the champs and go on to have success yourself. Every day, it seems like we find new ways to marvel at that 2011 Mavs team. But anyway, 2011 Mavs was the last time that a team successfully beat the defending champions and went on to win a championship. Now, can you think of the time that came before that? Not that one. A little further back. You have to go all the way back to 2003 when the Spurs beat the Lakers. And this is when the Lakers were actually coming off of a three-peat. So they were trying to get their fourth in a row. Now, what's interesting to me about this pattern is not only did both of these wins come against the defending champion Lakers, they also came when the Lakers were trying to claim more titles and they came in the second round and they came to a Texas team. So, honestly, unless you're a Texas team trying to stop the Lakers from getting their third or fourth championship in the row, it's probably not a good idea to beat the defending champs. That leads us all the way back to Minnesota, who defeated the defending champion Denver Nuggets. I knew once that happened, it was probably going to be doom for them. I didn't think that they would lose to the Mavericks in the Western Conference Finals. I actually thought that they would make it all the way to the finals and lose. 
it's just another feather into the cap of this bad luck, if you will. I put a list of the teams that beat all defending champions up until this point. All the asterisks are when the defending champion lost in the finals. Now, for the sake of this pattern, you could say that counts or you could say that it doesn't. I'm fine either way, but I just think it's interesting that unless you beat the champion in the finals, chances are your season is going to end in misery. But what do you guys think? Did you notice this pattern? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you feel so inclined and I'll catch you guys on the next one.